Hi friends, I'm here today to, to show you this really cute little Get Well card. Made um, with several stamp sets, and I'll go through the supply list first. But you'll, first, before I go through the supply list, I want to show you it's a little cute little flat card. Okay, so um, let's go through the supply list. You'll need, um, I use several stamp sets. Uh, this one's $27.95, and it is the tea, tea Shop. Really cute. And then I'm going to use the, uh, I'm praying for you on the inside. So this is Blessings from Heaven, $14.95. And then Perfectly Penned, I used the Get Well out of this, $12.95. Then for stamp pads, the colors I used were Poppy Parade, Lucky Lemonade, Soft Suede, and Pool Party. And then I'm also going to use this embossing folder, the oval um, embossing folder. And then I have this really cute ribbon that matches the Pool Party. It's a ruffled ribbon. That's also in the catalog. Um, I'm going to use this extra large oval punch. So those are kind of the, oh, and get, grab a sponge. So go grab your um, supplies and come on back and um, we'll step you through this. Card stock, you're going to need a piece of pool party, um, four and a quarter by 11, one piece. You're going to need three pieces of soft suede that are four by two and a half. And you're going to need two pieces of vanilla, very vanilla, that are two and a quarter by three and three quarters. Okay, that's your supplies. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your pool party, you're going to fold it in half, and you're going to grab your cutter, and you're going to cut off two and three quarters of an inch off of one side or the other. It doesn't matter. But so cut that off, and you'll have something that looks like this. All right, so that's your card base. Next step is to work on your teacups. And uh, working with acrylic is pretty cool because you can take and see through the acrylic if you don't have it. I would try it. Um, but with this particular card, it's going to be great because um, these teacups get put right on top of each other and you can see through the acrylics. Now, one lady in my class actually made the teacups toppling and that, that was very, very cute. But I went ahead and just um, stamped them up. So that's done. Once you get your stamping done, now we're going to glue. I'm using my square glue stick that's in the catalog. I like it because it gets into the corners. Great for scrapbooking. Okay, and then I'm going to cut on this ribbon, I'm going to cut four inches. Actually, I could probably get away with three and a half. So I think I'll do three and a half, the pool party ribbon. And the first thing I'm going to do is tie a knot in it. Actually, it's a half knot. I'm going to cinch it down pretty good because it's got to be able to reach over the legs. If you like a fatter knot, you may want to um, add it, make it four inches in length. Then I'm going to grab my glue dots. And what I'm going to do is put a uh, glue dot on each end of the ribbon. And then one right on the, the square, on the knot. And the reason for that is it makes it easy. All right, come on. Can't get that last glue dot off. Okay. It makes it easy because then you can place the knot where you want it. And it stays. Then you can stretch your legs out either way. It just makes it easier. Okay, now on the back of this, I'm going to put some dimensionals because I want to pop it off. The um, ribbon sometimes binds things. So when you put dimensionals behind there, it just makes it easier. I didn't do a very good job with my glue dots, did I? The ribbon keeps popping off. I may have to add another glue dot. I think is what I'll do. This one I'm going to grab with my fingers. I should. Oh, this is a really cool tip. Grab it with a pair of really sharp, sharp scissors. 
because then what you can do is it gives you a little more control of where to place the glue dot and you're not handling the glue dot to take away from the adhesiveness all right so this guy is going to go centered up mar even margins all the way around on the front flap of the card all right so the next thing we're going to work on is we're going to run a piece of soft suede through the big shot using the embossing folder and you want to be really careful about getting um, this first of all the cardstock to the very edge or if not set back just maybe an eighth of an inch not much and then you want the same margins on the top and the bottom of the round of the oval sorry okay so run that through the big shot choo 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 real quick that was quick wasn't it and now we're going to glue this piece down And this does, the only thing that matters is that you get it even margins top and bottom and clear to the edge. Because you're going to bring your piece on the inside, it's going to cover, it, cover up the edge. Alright, now for my get well. I'm going to use Poppy Parade. Take the punch, center it up, pop it out. A little bit of glue on the back. So neat the way um, Stampin' Up makes things, the punches coordinating with the embossing folders. It's really very, very unique. I like it. Okay, so then on this piece is the saying. Now I'm going to show you a technique with this piece called Stamping Off. You've probably done it, but I'm going to refresh your memory. Stamping Off is where you ink up the stamp, full ink. Stamp off once, and then you come to your card. I want the handle on there, and you stamp it. And it gives, see how, if I would have done the whole, would have done it with just the uh, first ink, it would have been really, really dark, and the words wouldn't have shown. But with this, um, the stamping off, now that it's a little lighter, it's like a watermark, and my words will be really, I'm going to use, I'm praying for you. Got a friend that's very sick. I want to know that I care. So I'm grabbing the and I'm gonna stick that. Yep. And then um, I'm gonna take the blue and I'm gonna sponge the edges. Caught an edge. Okay, so now I'm going to glue this down. Okay, bring back my bring my card. I'm going to get rid of some of these pads. I'm going to stick something in them, like a pretty card. Okay. I'm going to glue this one down. Give it a little press. There you go. Cute, cute. I also made up a birthday one. This is just a really cute card. So I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you come back and, and visit me again, okay?